Ian D here. Today I'm going to discuss and show you how this beauty of a card works. Scapeshift is, in my opinion, the card, the current card in standard, the most, I think, most important and talked about card currently in standard. Why? Because of its interaction with this card, Field of the Dead. This is why these two together are a win condition for <coughs> the current tier one <coughs> sorry for the current tier one decks in standard. Let's talk about Scape Shift. Scape Shift first time released was in Morning Tide. At that time the card in standard didn't did anything special. But in modern when combined with a particular card called Velocult, that particular card, that particular combination was dealing more than 20 damage to the opponent once you cast Scape Shift. Can you imagine how strong the card is? How this particular sorcery works? It's a 2 colorless and 2 green. You have to admire how beauty the art is in this version. Unfortunately, I don't have the Morning Tide version, I have only the Core 2019 version, but how beauty this artwork is. Once the spell resolves, you sacrifice any number of lands, and then search your library for up to that many lands, put them on the battlefield tab, then shuffle your library. This is how Scape Shift mechanic works. Now, let me give you a small tutorial how to cast Scape Shift. Let me put, let me set up my battlefield. We have here a certain number of lands in play. Let me zoom a little bit more. We have these lands in play. I'm going to tap my two forests and tap my two mountains so that I can cast Scape Shift. I cast Scape Shift, I put it on this deck Cape shift is on this deck. At this stage, your opponent can respond to scape shift. He can counter scape shift. He can do damage to you. He can do anything that an instant card can do, or any card or any mechanic that at an instant speed can do. Once scape shift resolves, because it was not countered, you choose the lands you want to sacrifice. At this stage. Your opponent cannot respond in destroying one of your land. Once Cave Shift resolves, you sacrifice the land. He could do that beforehand, but once this spell resolves, he cannot destroy one of your land when the spell resolves. I will choose my three. I'm going to sacrifice three lands. I'm going to choose these three cards to sacrifice. I'm going to sacrifice them and I'm going to search my library for the three Tron lands. Yes, you can with Scape Shift choose any number of lands from your library. I'm going to choose my three Tron lands. They enter the battlefield together, and this is very important. And obviously, they enter tapped. Now, in my next turn, I will have as much mana as I need to cast any spell that I need. How Scape Shift and Field of the Dead are being played in standard because this is what we're here for. We have Field of the Dead, Field of the Dead, enter the battlefield tapped, you, you tap for one colorless, but when Field of the Dead or another land enter the battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more lands with different names, you create a 2-2 black zombie creature. And this is the most important thing. If you control seven or more lands with different names. Let's put our field of the dead on the battlefield and let's play scape shift. I have mana, I have lands and I'm going to cast scape shift. I'm going to tap my two forest, two mountains. I will cast scape shift. Scape shift resolves, scape shift is not countered, and I'm going to sacrifice 
my seven basic lands. I'm going to sacrifice my seven basic lands and I'm going to keep on the battlefield my field of the dead. What I'm going to search my library. I can search for any basic land. I can search for an evolving wild. It's still a land. I can search for any dual land. Dual lands, shock lands, scry lands. Any land that is legal in that format. In my example, I'm going to use these. Gain one life lands. Common card from M20. And I can search also for another field of the dead. As I said, you can search for any land that is legal in your format and that it is in your library. In my case, I'm going to search for another three dual lands. Gain one life. These are my seven lands. Now here's the trick with Scapeshift. The lands enter in the battlefield together. Therefore, they will enter in the battlefield together and they will see each other together. That means that these seven cards enter in the battlefield together. What will happen now? It will happen that because whenever Field of the Dead or another land enter in the battlefield under control, if you control seven or more lands, when these enter to in the battlefield together, that means that currently you have seven different lands with seven different names. Three, four, five, six, seven. And that means that Field of the Dead will trigger seven times. One for each land that entered in the battlefield. Remember, they don't enter one at a time. They enter in the battlefield together. And because they enter in the battlefield together, Field of the Dead will trigger seven times. But that's, that's not all. Because I have another Field of the Dead entering in the battlefield together with another seven lands, including Field of the Dead, that means that this Field of the Dead will trigger another seven times. Therefore, seven times Field of the Dead 1, seven times Field of the Dead 2, that means that I am going to create 14 to 2 zombie creatures. This is how powerful Field of the Dead and Scapeshift combo is currently in standard. You have 14 to 2 zombie creatures, which in your next turn, probably you will swing for lethal. I hope that this tutorial have given you a little bit more confidence about the mechanic and how this works. So you don't have doubt that your opponent is not tricking you or hosting you or breaking any rule. This is how Scape Shift and Field of the Dead combo works. They are very lethal together. They are very strong together. And you can create a lot and a lot of zombie creatures and you will swing for lethal. Here is the subscription button. Subscribe for my channel for more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.